How to find the median for individual series data with even number of values. This is the individual series data of the number of times that 10 children were vaccinated in their lifetime. Let's find the median of this data. Recall that we said that the median is a measure of central tendency that indicates the middle point of the data set. So our task here is to find the middle point, right? To do this, we need to first arrange the data in ascending or descending order. I prefer the ascending order because it's just logical. So here we'll have 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, and 5. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Awesome. So our number of data elements is 10, and this is an evil number. Awesome. To find the position of the median value, we will use the same simple formula that says the median position is n plus 1 divided by 2. Notice that there is a th here. This means that whatever we find is the position of the median, not the median itself. So the median position will be n, which is 10, plus 1, all divided by 2. That's 11 divided by 2, which will give us 5.5. So our median is going to be in this position. Well, guess what? There is no 5.5 position. So we'll have to find the average of the values at the fifth as well as the sixth position. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our fifth value is 2 and our sixth value is 3. The average of 2 and 3 is just 2 plus 3 divided by 2 and that will be 2.5. So our median is 2.5 kg. Easy peasy. So this is how to easily compute the median for individual series data. Now, if you've gained value with this video, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and share this with your friends and colleagues to help them. Now, if you want to learn how to compute the mean for different series data, check out this video here. And for the mode, check out this other video right here. See you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.